The calendar has turned to September, and in El Paso, that can only mean one thing. The Chihuahuas are back in the PCL playoffs. El Paso will host the first two games of the PCL semifinals against Fresno beginning tomorrow at Southwest University Park. El Paso is in search of its second PCL title in franchise history, and it's been quite the run for a team that has been around for just five years. The Chihuahuas have managed to sustain success for years, all while their best players get called up to the big leagues at the most important time of the year. And Rod Barajas' staff has always developed the talent given to them. You know, the fact that we've been able to produce Major League talent out of here and, uh, and also, you know, win, win baseball games down here, even, even when they take our guys, uh, you know, we have a fresh crop coming in and it's, it's our job to make these guys better and, and, and help these guys, uh, you know, uh, compete and just get the most out of them. And I feel like we've done a pretty good job here the last three years. And, you know, uh, you know uh, we just look forward to continue, uh, have, continue having success here. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. Dogs and Grizzlies, 7.05 p.m. tomorrow at the ballpark to open the playoffs, same time and place Thursday. They will be without arguably their best player in the postseason, though. Catcher Francisco Mejia was called up to the Padres today, and he's already with the big league club in Arizona tonight. He struck out in his first A.B. with San Diego when he pitched hit in the sixth inning. His first start will be Thursday in Cincinnati against the Reds. He was acquired in a trade with Cleveland in July, and he hit 328 with seven home runs and 23 ribbies in 31 games for El Paso.